morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. This has been my office for the day, the couch. I'm filming later in the day today, but all of the computer work that I needed to do was kind of stuff that takes like half my attention. I feel like sometimes there are tasks that I do where I need to be like, fully focused, not listening to music, not watching anything in the background, like up in my office, just in the zone. But today, a lot of the stuff I was doing, you know, I can kind of, I can kind of give half my attention to it. I was writing the tags, the description, and then like adding the thumbnail for tomorrow's video, which is my 24 hours locked in my bathroom challenge. So if you guys wanna see that, it's definitely gonna be up by the time you're watching this. And then I worked on like developing a couple of video ideas that I had been working on a little bit more fully. So I talked before about how I'm doing a review of anthropology. I've already place the order for that but today I did the outline so I'll show you guys what that looks like because I get a lot of questions about like I don't know my production process every youtuber that you watch I'm sure has an incredibly different production process and how they come about coming up with their ideas and if they script it or if they do outlines or if they just go off the cuff I've been doing my outlines kind of the same way for almost two years now I would say and it works well for me so I do a video outline like this for each individual video and then I do a table that usually has two sides. So the left will be like the topic and then the right will be the points that I need to hit and talk about as I'm going through that. So I just took screenshots from my order confirmation and put them on the left side. And then on the right side, I put the name of the product and the size and the price, even though the product name and size is kind of redundant because that's here anyways. And then some of them, I have notes based on like what the review said or like when I ordered this one, I thought it was funny because it's literally called the Sierra Smocked Linen Jumpsuit and it looks like Joseph's Amazing Technicolor Dream Coat. So I wrote that down, <laughs> anything like that. So these are all of the items and then I group them into the outfits. I wanna try them on as. And then the outro, I'll add a few points here, but I don't really even need to say anything because I'll just kind of wrap up the video based on what I think of everything. So I can't really script that in advance. And then the intro, I actually fully scripted today. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just do bullet points. Sometimes I do nothing. But this one, I went ahead and I fully scripted. So this outline is ready to go. I'm filming this on Wednesday, as long as the package gets here on time. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon right now. And I had mentioned this in the last vlog, but Steven finally got his work from home set up from work, which I'm so happy about because that means he doesn't have to go into the office anymore, which is a huge weight off my chest, I guess. It's something that I had definitely been nervous about every day that he had to go into the office. I actually need to go, I'm gonna blow dry my hair the rest of the way because we're filming in about an hour. And then I also need to do my makeup, which I have not worn like foundation foundation in probably three months and I'm kind of loving it. So I've just been doing like powder and then my normal eye makeup, filling in my eyebrows, mascara, but pretty much the same thing except no liquid foundation. And I've really been enjoying it. So I think I'm still gonna do that even though I'm filming today. Sometimes the lights in the studio can like really wash me out. So I do have to make sure that my skin doesn't come across as like translucent in the video with all the lighting and camera equipment and stuff. But um, I'm gonna shut my computer now that I'm done with that and head in to the bathroom. I totally left my phone out there. A few moments later. <laughs> I just checked my email as I was walking back in here and I have an email notification that I think this is the person I think it is. A guy in one of my college theater classes who I have not spoken to in four years tried to add me on LinkedIn. Sure. It's on YouTube, this is a stream. Do you guys know what? Okay, I'm gonna go better. I'm gonna go see. Bugles. Bugles. No. So back to you. There are some Today does not feel like a very good hair day. I pulled these front pieces back for the first time in a long time. I used to wear my hair like this a lot a couple months ago because I just didn't like these front pieces. And they've been killing it recently. They've been doing pretty good. But today, they just felt kind of flat. So maybe it's because I was sitting on the couch while my hair was drying. I wasn't like moving around. My hair didn't have any like, I don't know, movement, bounce to it. It was just kind of blah. I don't know, I feel like my hair looks weird today. Oh well, it is what it is, onto my makeup. Oh, I wanna show you guys where I keep my blow dryer. So I got this like ottoman stool thing on Amazon because it was the perfect height for my little vanity desk. And it opens up and in the inside, there's a ton of storage room. So I keep like my blow dryer, my straightening iron, which I never use, and my curling iron, which I haven't used in like a year in there. But it's super convenient and it keeps my hair dryer like in an easy access place, but also keeps it from cluttering up my actual vanity area. Ha 
Ta-da. All right, I think I'm ready. My hair, it still has some damp pieces down here, but you know what? I just, I can't be bothered. It's fine. What time is it? It is 2.42. We're gonna start filming at three, so I guess I should just head upstairs and set up the equipment. Cool, let's go. Oh, you know what? I gotta take these guys out now that there's a little bit of a break in the rain. Come on, come on. Brewster, do not make me come carry you. Come on. Oh, you're so gonna make me carry you. Angel, I know, it's cold. Steven's making some good progress up here on the Poshmark shelves. As soon as we get these up and organized and all the clothes in those boxes put away, then I'm gonna reopen my Poshmark shop. And my Poshmark shop is just at Schultze. I'm at Schultze on pretty much everywhere on the internet. Into the filming room. We did finish the brick. And I appreciate the honest feedback in the vlog where we put this up. I know it doesn't look great. I know it's not ideal. In a perfect world, I would have been able to hire someone to come do this the right way. But being everything that's going on with the world, we're just gonna have to make this work. And the wallpaper wasn't too expensive. So if in a couple months or a year or however long it takes for the world to get back to normal, if I still feel like this looks like crap, which I'm sure I will, that I can always just take it down and, and have someone do it the right way. And this is my first time showing the final product on the vlog, even though we finished it two I nights I showed ago. It, showed it yesterday. Oh, you but did? This is good, in my opinion. Okay, good. I, I, I think this is good. For me, it's just one seal. But I don't even think that's really gonna show because of the props. Yeah, I think this is the one scene that is the major offender. As you go, they're less and less noticeable. Well, we can strategically cover them up with the clothing rack and the, the plant. As you guys just saw, I set up pretty much all of my equipment. Right now I am formatting the cards. My audio recorder is really slow when I tried to format cards in there, so I always just do it on the camera. And I always, 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 always triple check my cards before I format them because I have made that mistake before. I put markers on the ground for exactly where the tripod goes, the chair goes, the um, wardrobe rack goes and the plant goes. Also, sorry for the noise. I turn the AC unit on full blast before I film because then I have to turn it off when I film because it's too loud. You can see I'm already getting a little bit sweaty and shiny just from the hot lights in here. It gets very warm. Also, I'm wearing a sweater. <sighs> Here is my very simple outfit of the day. I've got these Hollister paper bag waist shorts that I have been loving lately, and this little like pastel rainbow striped sweater. Another thing that I always have to think about when I'm filming is making sure the colors that I'm wearing are colors that show up well on camera. This sweater I've worn on camera before, and I know it looks good, so I am all set to go. So I've got the mic here hanging just about as far down as it can be without coming into the frame. Today, we are going to be testing audio for the vlog. I think that looks pretty good. I usually like to keep it right around between negative 12 and negative 18. Actually, I could turn it up a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. There we go, that's perfect. In this box right here, I have my two monitors, which in the old studio were mounted like right in front of me. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I think I wanna mount them on this wall or possibly get like a rolling tripod kind of thing that I can put these on top of. That way I can move it wherever I want. One of them will show what's on here and the other one I use to show my video outline. That way I can peek up at it as I go and make sure I'm hitting all the points I wanna hit. For now, for today, I will just look at the script and the outline from my phone and if Steven is gonna help me for the talking part then he can look at it on the iPad. I actually don't need you for the talking part. I can do that. Yes. But I need you for the photo shoot part. All right. Uh, okay, cool. I'm gonna film the intro and stuff by myself then. I'll just have you focus the camera for me and then I'll call you in when I need help with the photo shoot. I love you. I love you too. It's like you said that to the vlog. I but it was to me. <laughs> All right, I'll turn this off. Make sure the plant is all centered. Also, peek inside the plant. We ordered this fake plant and then we ordered this pot and then we realized that one 
is too small for the other. So we just piled up the styrofoam that it came shipped in and we never got a more permanent solution. So yeah, I, hate that. I know me too. We just kind of balance it there. <laughs> Perfect. Make sure the clothes are perfectly That'll spaced work. out. There we go. Make sure that all the lights are on. Make sure the mic's not in frame. Oh, gotta turn the camera on. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> How's lighting? Uh, lighting looks good. I already did lighting. No, 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 don't move it. I already got it just the way I wanted it. All right, full disclosure. I moved it already. Why? I was bouncing it off the roof. No, you were bouncing it off here, so you would have gotten a... You want it to be even across the whole Sierra. Yep, you want to just check audio, make sure that we both think it's good? Welcome back to testing the audio again. So today's video, I am testing the audio and the vlog is filming and Steven's sitting on the floor and he just kicked my light and then cursed at it because it really hurt his toe. Audio rolling. <laughs> All right, flip the screen towards me. Video rolling. Um, learning to love my body again, intro and outro, take one. Sorry, Rachel, I'm gonna talk to the vlog real quick so you can just cut all this out of the main channel video. So before I start actually talking to the main channel camera, I'm gonna talk to you guys one more time real quick. The way that I focus the camera, the way I figured out is the easiest because I wanna do manual focus so that I'm not like coming in and out of focus as the camera tries to track me. So we put it in autofocus mode. We like half close the shutter until it beeps and focuses and then switch to manual. So it's locked into manual focusing, but we know that it got a perfect focus on my face. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna ignore you guys now and talk to the main channel. All right, I just finished filming. I'll sit back in my chair. I had scripted this video because I did wanna make sure that I said everything in, in the right way in the way that I wanted to, but I ended up going off script quite a lot. I had written my script, I'd like look at the line and then I'd kind of like paraphrase it back to the camera and sometimes I'd just kind of like go off on a tangent from there. But then sometimes I would be like, wait, no, that doesn't sound right. That is not the way I'm wanting this to come across. And so I'd look back at the script and be like, that's how I worded it. <laughs> For most of my videos, I just do like bullet points as I showed you guys in the outline earlier today. Most of the time, I would say it's a little more extensive than the outline I showed you this morning, but not as extensive as like having full sentences written. But when I'm doing videos, like the one I'm filming today is about learning to love myself again after my miscarriage. And since that's a sensitive topic, I knew it was really important that I don't mince words with that. <laughs> so um, I finished filming that intro and outro. I, I thought there was one more intro and outro I had to film. Let me check my schedule. Yes, I have one more intro and outro, but I want to change my shirt before, wait, nope, nope. I don't want to film that one yet because it's actually sponsored and I need to get the talking points from the brand. So um, I think that's all I'm going to be filming today other than the photo shoot portion to wrap up this learning to love my body video. And I need Steven for that. So I'm going to go get him. We'll film that. So according to my audio recorder, which also shows me like how long I've been recording, that took me about 11 minutes. It'll probably end up being about three minutes of footage. Scripted videos take me longer to do than ones that I am just ad-libbing because I'm like looking at the script and then saying it to the camera and then looking at the script versus ad-libbing. I just kind of go off the cuff. And also since this was more of a serious video, it was a different tone than most of my videos. I feel like that definitely took me longer than just being silly and saying whatever I want and reviewing, you know, weird bathroom products or weird Instagram ads or whatever. But anyways, um, if it's 345 and I came up here an hour ago, that means it took me like 45 minutes to set everything up, get it perfect. That's something I think a lot of people don't think about when they're like, what do YouTubers do all day? I would say a normal videos filming takes me maybe three to five hours to film. Set up, tear down, outlines, transferring footage, organizing footage, all of that stuff really, really adds up. Before I film that thing with Steven, I am gonna just record my computer screen like this and show you guys how I organize footage and send it to my editors. So this SD card that I just popped in is what was on my vlog camera from yesterday and this morning. And then obviously I have a new one in now. So I just put these all in a folder and called it footage to organize since I was filming for multiple things. And then I just drop it into Final Cut so that I can review all the files and make sure they're for the right videos. Here's where I pose for a thumbnail. So that's clip. 4816. So I'll go through and take a screenshot. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. So here are my thumbnail options. I've got this one, this one, which I accidentally took a thumbnail of the entire screen instead of just the little part. This one, not crazy about that one. I kind of like me holding up the pan because it's more like cooking. My facial expression's kind of funny too. But if I was going to do one of the eating ones, 
probably do that one because it's funnier. Do I like this thumbnail or this thumbnail? I think definitely this one. Now I used to put like text and emojis and change the backgrounds for my blog thumbnails. And then one day I experimented with it and I realized that the more just like raw, like it just looks like a still from the video, like that kind of thumbnail, people like those better. I think the vlog is definitely more raw and unpolished than the main channel. So people like when the thumbnail kind of reflects that, they know what they're getting in the video. And this video is just me like derping around in the kitchen, making like the world's easiest vegetarian dish and calling it a recipe. So all I did is pull it into PicMonkey, which I pay for PicMonkey Pro, and this is all I use for my thumbnails. I'll bump up the saturation a little bit because it was a little washed out. Bump up the brightness, and then I cropped it to 1280 by 720, which is the dimensions for a thumbnail. I'm gonna take the Eye Brighten tool, and I'm actually gonna brighten up the green beans so that they pop a little bit more. The other thing I always have to think about is that people are seeing thumbnails from like this distance, so the details that you see from here are way different than what you see from here. So I'm also gonna go ahead and put some dimension in my hair and in my eyes, but I'll fade it so it looks more natural. And that's it, my vlog thumbnails are very, very, very simple. My thumbnail editor, Emily, made, let me show you this thumbnail for my main channel video tomorrow, which I thought was so funny and good. She's so talented. Usually for my main channel videos, I just go through the photos that I took for it, pick my favorite ones that I wanna be used in the thumbnail, and then I'll email that to her like at least, I don't know, four or five days in advance, give her some time. Ideally, it would be like a week and a half in advance. That's what I like aim for. And then I'll give her any design notes and then she'll just run with it. And she's really, really good at what she does. So like for that thumbnail, the 24 hour bathroom challenge. I said, hey, are you available to make this thumbnail for Tuesday's video? The concept of the video is, and then I put the title of the video, I spent 24 hours living in my bathroom overnight. I said for the thumbnail, I'd like to use these two photos. I'm open to design concepts on how to incorporate them both. For the one of me eating the salad, maybe you could Photoshop it so it looks like I'm sitting on a toilet. If that's not possible, no worries at all. I just thought it could be a funny idea. And she did it. She made it so it looks like I'm sitting on a toilet, which I think is real funny. All right. Now the rest of this should just be for that one one vlog until the morning. Here is where I started the next vlog. So now I'm gonna name this footage to organize folder, cooking lunch vlog. And starting at 4832, this is all the stuff for this morning's vlog, all the way through to the end. This is gonna be behind the scenes vlog. Oh boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. Also, I saw a couple questions about why Ricky Dillon doesn't edit my vlogs anymore because he used to be part of my editing team. He just got too busy with his own channel and editing for the Dolan twins. And so he was like, hey, I'm really sorry, but I don't have time anymore. And I was like, you are all good. I appreciate the work you did. He's really, really great. And he did great work when he was on my team. And now now, um, my editor, Rachel, who does my main channel videos, I asked her if she knew any editors and her boyfriend, Mario, who's probably gonna be editing this vlog, came up in conversation. And I was like, you know what? That would be super convenient because I'd be sending all of my footage to the same place. If one of you is too busy to edit, you can switch it off with the other one and I don't even have to facilitate it. So we ended up trying that out and it worked great. So I edit vlogs from time to time still, but I would say Mario edits most of them, maybe like 60, 70% of the vlogs. At least right now, it used to be more like 100%, but I've been vlogging so much right now that we have to like switch off on who edits them to keep up, which is a good thing. It means more content for you guys. Okay, so those are all added. That means I have thumbnail screenshots, everything is in there, and that is good to either start being edited by me or transfer to my editor, Mario. So I'm gonna text him. He's working on Saturday's vlog right now and see what his schedule's like to see if he has time to edit it or if I should edit it. So say, hey, Mario, hope you're doing well. I have two more vlogs ready to be edited. I can edit one or both of them if you're too busy. And then once he gets back to me on what works for him, I will send him the files on WeTransfer. Usually it's really easy and I can just click the entire folder and send all of that. But if I click get info on this folder, it's 8.93 gigabytes, which is not a crazy amount, but with the way Wi-Fi has been, they've been having trouble at their house downloading any folders bigger than five gigabytes. So I'd probably split this up into two, like four gigabyte folders and then send it as a part one and a part two. Sometimes I'll be filming for like 
three or four or even five videos at once if I'm vlogging and then I have to, you know, film a vlog outro from a previous vlog, I start a new vlog, I'm filming B-roll for a main channel video, it can really add up and get complicated. I know a lot of YouTubers like using multiple memory cards for that, but at least for me, I have had one too many mistakes of losing track of memory cards or swapping out the wrong one. And for me, it's just easier to organize it all when it's on my computer. So I need to go finish filming that main channel video because it is four o'clock and at 5.30, we are doing a Zoom call for Kyle's birthday, which I'm so excited about but I'm gonna go ahead and edit this vlog thumbnail real quick have that ready to go and then um, I'll head into the filming room and finish filming with Steven also I guess one thing I just want to add since I'm talking about being a youtuber and how I film and stuff in this vlog being a youtuber is the best job I could have ever asked for I absolutely love it I am so lucky and so privileged to get to do what I love for a living which is why I try my hardest not to complain about the not so great parts about this job because I don't ever want it to come off like I am ungrateful for everything that I have and everything that you guys have allowed me to have. But of course, as with any job, even if you absolutely love what you do, there's gonna be some parts that you don't love as much. And I try to be realistic about those things without complaining about them, which is kind of a hard balance if I'm being honest. But I just really love making videos. I really enjoy it. And rarely does a day go by where I don't just sit back and go, wait, this is what, this is what I, I get to do all day? Like this is the coolest thing I've if you've ever thought about starting a YouTube channel, I highly recommend it. Just do it. Just go for it. You'll never know if you don't try. Starting a channel is the best decision that I ever made. And I'm really, really glad that I took that leap and tried and then kept going even when I really sucked at it at the beginning. <laughs> also, if you guys would be interested in a video about I don't know, I guess more of my tips on how to start a YouTube channel, let me know. I think I made a video like that like way back in the day when I had probably 50,000 subscribers. Obviously what I know now and the information that I think is like really, really useful now has changed and evolved and adapted. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know and I can definitely do that. Maybe a podcast so that I can like fully go in on every little detail without feeling like I have to cut it down for a video or maybe a main channel video. I don't know, let me know. Happy birthday, Kyle! Yeah! Happy birthday, dear Kyle! Happy birthday to you! Yay! <laughs> All right, we just finished Kyle's birthday call. It is 8.04 p.m. We started that at 5.30. Originally, the plan was to do a Kyle-themed bingo game, which Skylar planned. She made a bingo board, like a unique bingo board for everyone that was on the call, consisting of Kyle's favorite things, which was super, super fun. We didn't win, but I think we got second place, at least in the first round of bingo, but not in the blackout round. And then after that, I think like half the people jumped off and then some of us stayed on and just chatted and hung out with Kyle like we would in person for his birthday, but over Zoom. So it was really, really fun. And I'm glad that we did that because, you know, I think for anyone who has a birthday during this time, it can feel a little bit anticlimactic, I guess is the word I would use, where you don't do the things you normally would. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and a little peek behind the scenes of how I make my main channel videos and kind of how I film them on my own and also, you know, how I plan them, how I transfer files how I organize everything, something that is very much a part of my everyday life. So it's very easy to film and document if you like it. Sitting at my computer can sometimes just be boring. But if you guys find that stuff interesting, let me know and I can do more of it. But thanks for watching. I am gonna transfer this footage to my vlog editor, Mario, right now. And then head downstairs, maybe watch an episode of America's Next Top Model, maybe try and rope Steven in to watch that with me. And uh, I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.